Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. This is Louie. I'm going to be doing a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, for information on how to book a personal reading, please check the description box below. Please like and subscribe if you like the vibes here. And also, um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's see what we've got going on for you. Aqua, happy birthday as well. Alright, please hit that like and subscribe button. Let's see, current situation for Aquarius. Current situation. You got the Page of Wands. Okay, so something could be starting off new. Okay, um, let's see. What's the blockage? We're going to clarify all these right after. What is the blockage? All right, you're holding on too tightly to something that you need to let go of, okay? And that's blocking this new beginning from starting, okay, with the Four of Pentacles. All right, what is in the foundation? All right, juggling, okay? You could be juggling, or that's your person that could be juggling, or people around you could be juggling. But anyway, money's coming in, money's coming out, okay? There's some sort of emotional roller coaster with the waves, the waves in the background, you see how they are? So it's some sort of emotional roller coaster you might be going through. All right, should I stay? Should I go? Should I let this be? Should I just leave it? You know, you could be questioning a lot of things right now. What's in the recent past? All right, five of pentacles being left out in the cold. Somebody could have ghosted you. Okay, financial hardship as well. What is on your mind? What's in the subconscious for Aqua? All right, celebration, reconciliation. Okay, it came out kind of like in the reverse. So in the reverse, it talks about people gossiping about you. You could be thinking about what people are thinking. Don't worry about that shit. All right, um, it doesn't matter. It could be three people. What's in the near future for Aqua? All right, foresight. Entrepreneurship, leaving something behind, okay? Um, looking forward, waiting on your ships to come in, okay, so that you can make something happen. What's hidden? That also talks about looking at land, okay? You could be, like, wanting to buy property or something like that. What is hidden that Aqua doesn't see yet? All right, we got the five of swords. This is like envy. Somebody could be very envious of you. This is like bullying. Somebody could be bullying you. Um, <clears throat> it's under hidden, so you don't see this right now. There could be people that, like from your past, that could be discussing you. Um, but anywho, we're clear. We're gonna clarify that. What's in your environment? All right, you're moving into calmer waters. Some of you could be le like moving, um, going the distance or something like that. Okay, changing cities. However, you don't want to tell anybody you're here. Like nobody here is showing their face. Okay, so this is going to be like a secret. Okay, but you're moving into calmer waters. What is under hopes and fears for Aqua? Yeah, so... It came out on the reverse. Six of Pentacles. This is like, you're not going to be, whenever you encounter something that's not an equal give and take, you're not going to accept it. That could be a fear of yours, okay? Um, that somebody's giving to somebody else. But at the same time, it's almost like you, you've you learned your lessons here. Okay, what is the outcome some of you have learned the lesson, some of you have not. Okay, you need to balance the scales here. Okay, with the Six of Pentacles. What is the outcome? All right, the world. Some of you could be online. Also, with this Six of Pentacles, okay, um... Okay, or somebody could be coming back around, okay, trying to give you something or giving you some sort of gift or something like that. Somebody wants to be, somebody wants to, an equal give and take now, all right? So then the world is showing up in your outcome, 
All right, so that's Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius energy. You could be doing something online. You could be doing something like your business or something like that. Um, could be going viral. Also, with the outcome, you are gaining, you're getting closure of a situation, okay? In the bottom of the deck, you have the temperance. Yeah, so this is like balancing, moderation, healing. Okay, so you haven't gotten closure from a past situation where somebody left you out in the cold. Okay, let's go ahead and start clarifying. Let's see what we got going on here. I'm going to change decks. Let's do this one. A lot of confusion, all right? I'm feeling trapped. But anyway, let's see. You guys, fair guys. For Aqua, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is this Page of Wands? Okay, so the Page of Wands talks about like something that's new. Okay, something a creative endeavor of some sort. Clarify the Page of Wands. Yeah, the Fool. That will be your energy. Okay, the Fool showing up. That's taking a leap of faith into the unknown. Okay, this is something that's going on. This is a new beginning, okay, for you. This year is coming in hard. It's, it's basically like, yeah, you're moving on from what no longer serves you. Okay, the Five of Pentacles is showing up. All right, so there's definitely moving on from a, from a past traumatic experience of being left out in the cold. Okay. Um, what's this five? You're, you're, you could be moving your house from your house. Okay, something about if you're not wanted, then leave. Okay, something about that could be significant. That could be in your surroundings. All right, but let's go ahead and continue. What is this for of Pentacles? Under the blockage. So you're holding on too tightly. You got to let go of the past. Yeah, you got to let go of family as well. Okay, but Ten of Pentacles is like you're building legacy wealth. So you could be saving money to build. Okay, what what is this um four of pentacles, the star? Okay, that's you. So you could be holding on too tightly to a reconciliation of some sort. Um these people could have been family to you at some point with the ten of pentacles and the star. Waking up, you're gonna be very stable. Or you have stability, you're building legacy wealth. Yeah, you're avoiding some sort of tower, okay? Um, some sort of upheaval, chaos, or something like that. Okay, with the tower... <clears throat> excuse me, with the tower showing up, that's Scorpio energy. You could be letting go of the Scorpio. But anyway, the tower talks about... Um, something built on a faulty foundation so it needs to crumble down so that you could rebuild again so you could be avoiding some sort of tower moment so that's sudden changes as well one more yeah so wheel of fortune i feel like this is a cycle that's coming around Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, energy, okay, but money's looking good, your finances are coming around, I feel like there's something from your past that continues kind of like, um, it has traumatized you or something like that, so it continues kind of going around in circles and circles in your head, okay, because notice how this pentacle is right on top of this person's head, so this person, these people live rent free, or this could be, um, flip it, switch it, they rent, they live rent free in, in your brain, in your mind, so don't think about them. Let them go. Or they could be thinking a lot about you. So it calls your attention. So it's almost like the energetic pull that of them calling for you or talking about you is making you think about all this shit all over again. Okay. What's the two of pentacles? Judgment. Yeah, you call it judgment on somebody. Okay. The judgment is showing up. Something from the past. There's a reconciliation. Uh, however, you're juggling the idea. It's like an emotional roller coaster. You're kind of like, um, this is like something from the past coming back. Okay, you see how they're coming back from the coffin, right? The dead returns. 
Return of the Living Dead. All right, the Empress. So, it's almost like an ancestor of yours is kind of like avoiding this tower moment from you, for you, okay? Could be like a mother figure, <clears throat> the Empress. You could be giving birth to something new, okay? Or some of you are pregnant. Okay, or very fertile with ideas. And it's almost like these ideas might be coming from your ancestors too. Okay, with the judgment. Alright, what's this two of pentacles? Okay, with this card showing up. So take time take your time. Alright. There could be somebody that's coming in and with a quickness to come and communicate with you, but there's some sort of or something like that. On your part or their part, okay, flip it, switch it. What is this Five of Pentacles in the recent past? Five of Pentacles in the recent past. Wouldn't be surprised if you get the Hermit. All right, yeah, the Five of Pentacles is showing up here with the Page of Wands. Okay, so Five of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Somebody has a lot of confusion, okay? Somebody could have lost their house because of too much drinking as well. There was a lot of options. This person was thinking more with their wand than with their head. So they had a lot of options. So they left you out in the cold. They thought they were going to have a lot of options wherever the grass is not greener on the other side is what I'm hearing. <laughs> All right. But yeah, they left you out in the dark. They didn't know what they wanted. They had a lot of options coming in. So it's like temptation. Okay. Because page of wands is immature energy. That could be good news coming in as well. But it's still immature energy. They're like children. In your subconscious. Yeah, you're having... This is like taking your time, having patience. You're watering a plant here. All right, seven... Five out of seven years could be significant. Two out of five years could be significant. Okay. Virgo Taurus, Capricorn energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, you could just be unfazed by whatever it is that they're they're talking about you or gossiping about you or something like that. It could be three people. Okay, so somebody could have put you in some sort of third party. Okay. Um, also, there could be like some of you <laughs> thinking or patiently waiting or maybe you're going to have like a surprise party or something like that or you could be patiently waiting for a surprise party. Okay, with that on your mind. What is this three of cups with the seven of pentacles? Also, I if you guys... It's almost like you could have taken this person back. But there's been so much time. Five years um, or two years could be significant. Seven year cycle. All right. But within that time frame, you've been waiting. It's been too much waiting. Or they've been waiting. No communication or something like that. So... Too much time has on somebody's planning to reach out to you. You could be wanting to somebody's at a distance from you and they want to reconcile or have a celebration with you. You could be having some friends coming over from like a different state or something like that with the two of wands. Also, with this two of wands, you're leaving something behind. Okay, and you see how she's like holding very firmly this new wand. Okay, it might be a shorter one, but it has more growth. Okay, so looking forward, you're going to get some sort of news or you're going to be traveling somewhere. All right, some of you could be like wanting to go to Santorini, Greece or something like that. Italy, because it kind of looks like that in the background to me. Going overseas could be significant, celebrating. Maybe three girlfriends or three boy, three <laughs> friends or something like that are going to get together and... <clears throat> Queen of Wands. There could be uh, Aries Leo Sag. Okay, this is like uh, Queen of Wands here. It's a person who's non committal, a person who is um, witchy. They have witchy vibes. They're very manipulative. Um, 
vivacious. They like to have fun. They drink. They they go out. So, could be calling you or something like that. What is this Queen of Wands? Queen of Cups. Waiting there, like, come at me, bro. Um, so, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be significant. These are two people. Because remember this card came out in the reverse. So, this is like gossiping. People gossiping about you. They got nothing else better to do. Okay, and then the brighter side of it, it could be an Aries, Leo, Sag, or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, two girlfriends getting together and, and going on some sort of trip. Okay, so it's, it's, I'm getting a couple stories. Yeah, look, three cups again. Okay, somebody wants to reconcile. Somebody who was noncommittal wants to reconcile. Okay, if you had a friend that wasn't talking to you at some point, they might be calling you. It could be for your birthday or you guys might be going out or something like that. That could be sure. Okay, let's see what this three of wands is. All right, knight of wands, you're putting things into action. Okay, so no more nurturing the situation. You're putting things um three of wands in the near future. You could be traveling somewhere. Okay, buying a new car um, could be significant. All right, making some sort of purchase because this person is li it's looking at land here okay so um looking at land buying a new car the chariot you're gonna be very victorious whatever it is that you're gonna be building if you have a business or you're thinking about building a business or you're putting your business you're you're building your business from the ground up it's gonna be very victorious okay but just Put things into action. Don't say that you're going to do things and not do it. Okay. Or procrastinate. That's what I'm hearing. All right. What's this five of swords? Here we go with the nonsense, for lack of a better word. Um, the five of swords. This is that envy, the jealousy. This is like one person. Yeah, so Eight of Swords, you're getting, re it's in the reverse, so you're removing yourself from all this bullshit, this drama, okay, this Merc, they're very happy, okay, that this person and this person are broken up, or they're, you know, um, they're broken up, they're making, they're, they're upset with one another, they, this person splits these two up, okay, by bullying them, okay, so with the Eight of Swords, you have this person could be going to jail okay or somebody's in a spiritual jail somebody in some sort of mental jail or something like that because of this envy okay what is this um five of swords some of you could do tarot okay you got the high priestess high priestess could be a side chick as well okay or side dude Somebody who keeps things silent, okay? And then we got you guys. You're very silent. You already see this coming, okay? You're like, come at me. I'm ready to go straight for the, your jugular, okay? The communication here with the Queen of Swords, she's very smart. She's very analytical, okay? But it's kind of like cold-hearted. They're, they're not, they're not going to give in to, to the, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm, you know, the bullshit. All right, with the Eight of Swords, somebody could be in child support or, or going to jail for child support. You could have put this person in jail for child support. Flip and switch it. Okay, what is, give me one more. What's this Eight of Swords? Also, with that Queen of Swords, there's like block communication, like, Somebody wants to communicate with you, but, and you know this, okay, or this could be, like, telepathic and high priestess, okay, and the queen of swords. This could be, like, people trying to attack your sleep state. So, somebody could be calling you from jail, okay, or somebody's going to jail. What's the 
Justice. Libra um, energy here. Balancing the scales. What's the Justice? Two of Cups. Something is hidden. Maybe this is happening. It came out in the reverse. There's somebody here that's breaking up with somebody. It could be a Libra. Okay. Can't, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, heavy. Okay. There's, there's somebody that's breaking up. Okay. Like, um, or divorcing or something like that with the Eight of Swords. Somebody's going to jail. Or somebody's getting a divorce. They're tired of being trapped. With the Two of Cups in the reverse, that's a breakup. So that could be your person or these people from your past, they could be having this situation happening to them. Okay, you're removing yourself from that situation. Now, because all this shit's happening, they might be coming in because it's under hidden. They might be coming in and communicating this to you. Now they want to walk into calm. Now they want to go into calmer waters with you and an equal give and take. Okay, anyway, so that's up to you guys. If you guys want to accept that. Right? Yeah, there's a lot of anxiety here. Okay, so you could be very anxious. Something about waking up in the middle of the night could be significant. I know I'm, I've been waking up every single day at 3 o'clock in the morning. That's like the voodoo time. That's the voodoo hour. People don't learn. So they send bad energy towards you. Just return to sender. Return all that shit back to them. Very simple. You guys could be doing that. You guys could be like returning to sender here. Somebody's really nervous. If you're like a tarot reader or something like that, somebody's really nervous that you might say something or bring justice into a situation. Anyway. What is the six of swords under your environment? What's the Six of Swords? Yeah, King of Swords. That's you. Okay, blocking the shit. You don't even want to tell people. You're not going to tell people that you're going to be leaving or something like that. Somebody's going to be traveling. You're going to be going somewhere. Moving to calmer waters. Okay, with the King of Swords, that's your energy. Some of you could be um, doctors, lawyers, um, very intelligent studious you've gone to school okay with the king of swords attorneys counselors psychiatrists whatever you get the gist what's the king of swords six of swords you've definitely bossed up or transformed i see that you're collaborating working i was about to say that collaborating working together with other people okay in your business this is going to be very um it's going to have a lot of fruition okay notice there's three butterflies up here that's talking about transformation there's three pentacles up here okay that's talking about collaboration working together to make money okay so some of you could be artists okay she this person is here over here drawing some of you could be teachers this person's teaching this person somebody could be teaching somebody what to say to you is what I'm picking up here. And you're, you know it. King of Swords, you're going to straight surgical. Cut their heads off. <laughs> Not literally. You know what I meant. All right, anyway. What is the Six of Pentacles? You got a lot of sixes, so you guys could be seeing 666. Um... Something about 66 could be significant. What's the Six of Pentacles? Yeah, you're walking away from these people that didn't know how to give you an equal give and take. Okay, so this is a reciprocal kind of thing. Reciprocal love, whatever the case may be. You're walking away from anything that no longer feels that way. I said that earlier. That's exactly what that card um, signifies. Okay, you might be paying more. I don't know. So this is for some of you. You might be paying more money on rent if you guys live like in and with roommates. Okay. There could be somebody being asked for like $400 and the other one only pays $200. Okay, so somebody could be like, you know, this person over here is like begging for could be begging for attention. 
Anyway, that's for some of you. What is the world and the outcome for Aqua? Please hit that like, subscribe button, please. Share, like, subscribe. I'm still getting used to this. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you're very resourceful here with the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. The rabbit signifies fertility. Okay, so you could be very fertile with like resourceful ideas okay or there's something that you do maybe you're like an advertisement or something like that but queen of pentacles queen of pentacles to me is also like a green witch okay or a white witch somebody who does good that will be you okay with the world yeah you could be like closing a cycle and you've healed some sort of dynamic that was throwing you off good for you One more. Yeah, you're the magician. Yeah, definitely. You're manifesting good things into your life. You're manifesting um, the world, like going viral, okay? Being um, a motivational speaker, speaking to a lot of people or something like that. I'm also hearing here, if you didn't get your closure, you need to get your own closure. Okay, you're manifesting this shit. As above, so below. You you manifested your own closure. You cannot get closure from somebody else. You need to get closure from yourself. Okay, so that's for somebody. If you cannot depend on the on this person, you couldn't depend on this person before. They're not going to give you the closure that you need. You need to be. You need to realize that you're whole and complete all by yourself. Okay. Give me one more. Yeah, King of Cups. You're whole and complete all by yourself. You're emotionally stable. Now you could be calling in your the real person, the, the person that's going to be for you, okay? You're letting go of all these tricksters, all this deceit, and you're looking for true love. You know what you want, okay? So let me just pull some extra ones here, and then we're through. Sorry I haven't been posting. I've not been feeling so well. Um, something about your throat chakra could be significant. I've had like the worst sore throat. Okay. You got here the number 26. Everything is as you've created. All you create offers... All you create offers you lessons in life. So yeah, take, take everything. Everything in life is a lesson. Okay, so you've learned some sort of lesson. The number 26 could be significant. February 6 could be significant. 6, 7, 8. 8, what goes around comes around. Okay, 8 is a limniscus. So you're manifesting things. That's the magician. You're manifesting. You see that limniscus? That's what goes around comes around. You're manifesting things into, real, into life. Okay, 18 could be significant. February 18 could be significant. All right, shine love on fear. Love will light up the darkness. You have here the number 32. So 32 is March 2nd. Some of you could be 32. 3 and 2 equals 5. So there's definitely changes coming for you. Or you're changing your perspectives and stuff like that. You are changing and healing from what from what you used to go through in the past. You see, there's like, there's no storm here. The brightness is coming in, daylight's coming in. Some of you could work at night because over here I'm seeing like, she's kind of like bothered by the light. <laughs> but at the same time, the four swords does talk about healing. Okay, so 32, all is at your fingertips. What has been created by one can be had by all. So you could be creating something to illuminate the masses it could be a book it could be like um something online or something like that okay the number 39 could be significant spend time on you balance yourself some of you could be turning 39 some of you are 39 all right you got here you're unlimited what you can create is unlimited the number 12 could be significant pisces that's pisces energy so pisces could be significant 
36, you have a sensitive antenna. Hey, you guys never know if I just gave you all the numbers for the lotto. If I did, remember me. Anyway, 36, you have a sensitive antenna. Sensitive people collect the emotions of others. So yeah, you're like a sponge. If some of you work in the in the medical field and stuff like that, if people die around there and stuff like that, you're collecting, you're, you're picking up on those energies, okay? If you have a person that's always miserable and negative around you, you're picking up on those energies. So try to like be with like-minded individuals like you, okay, is what I'm hearing. I have, um... I have smudging spray. Some people can't, you know, use like Palo Santo and stuff like that. But there's smudging spray. Um, if you guys are interested in that, hit me up. The information is going to be in the description box below. Okay, it has Palo Santo, lavender, sage. Okay, so it cleanses your space. It cleanses your, your area. All right, you just kind of like spray it around you. This is how you cleanse yourself. Okay, I always put it in my bed, like right before bed. Okay. Um... So yeah, check that out. All right, let's see what we got for Aqua. What do you guys say for Aqua? All right, take pride in what you have built. Yeah, some of you have definitely built something from the ground up so take pride in what you've built aries could be significant march 21st to 419 could be significant okay aries is the emperor you've built something your emperor status okay you have definitely um are bossed up okay you could be a business owner as well answers will be revealed to you you got here the heart chakra. It's a line, compassion, forgiveness, unconditional love. So yeah, I feel like you've already like forgiven these people from your past. Okay, I accept and love openly and easily. However, there's still like some sort of... See, if a person feels guilty for something that they did or something like that, they're going to continue holding on to your energy. So it's something over here with this being aligned, with your heart chakra being aligned, it's almost like you've forgiven, you've moved on with your life. Okay, Gemini could be significant. 521 to 620 okay could be significant um with gemini energy that talks about communication right communication is key recognize the true motives behind the actions of other people okay of certain people yeah if you're like if you're building a business and you're building all these this empire and this stuff is like um good for you and stuff like that and you have other people around you that are like i don't think this shit is gonna work i don't think fuck them do your thing move on with your life don't listen to them that's envy that is bullshit it happened to me fuck them okay so you're protected Remember that. Rejection is a form of protection. All right. You got here the number 444. You're protected and encouraged by the divine to continue on your path to stability. Okay. Be confident there's no one else in the world like you. Game on. Game over. Moving on. Okay. I heard game on. So game on. All right. Recognize the true motives behind the action. Karma is hitting their pockets. I also feel like you're under some sort of spiritual attack. So under some sort of spiritual attack to hit your pockets. Okay. So it could be like maybe your business is not picking up or something like that. It's all good. It will. Okay. It will pick up. Be patient. Okay. That's energy that's being sent your way. You, you don't have to get like a, a doll and start putting pins and needles and stapling and shit. You don't have to do none of that. Just by evil eye energy. By just a person wanting you to uh, fall and have your demise and and turn to shit that's enough voodoo as it is okay so even the tongue the tongue like people talking shit about you and stuff like that that will be voodoo that brings your energy levels down okay so you need to like return to sender anything bad that's being sent my way return to sender boom return to sender get a candle flip it over i have a video up that's about returning to sender i'm gonna make another one this weekend okay because i do them every single weekend um yeah you so you could protect yourself protect your energy okay don't be afraid to take action in your life with your alignment i'm sorry don't be afraid to take action you're in alignment with your with your soul purpose so yeah 
everybody in this world has a purpose, okay? And it is what it is. Like, this is your purpose to do whatever. There's people's purposes that are to be strippers. Hey, it is what it is. They entertain or something like that. Some of you could be strippers. I don't know. All right, you got Capricorn energy. That's the devil. Okay, so don't let addictions um, get in the way of your of your empire building your st uh, stability and your survival. Okay, so I am grounded, stable, and secure. Could be an affirmation that you could use. All right, you got here 888, balance, set solid foundations um, for yourself to ensure pu future prosperity. I see that's what you're doing. You're thinking about the future here, okay, but not even being stressed out doing that. Okay, because there's a, there's a, some people stay in the past too long, that brings depression. Oh, what can I have done to change things? What can I have done to do this differently? And then the, the other people, other half of you are like, what am I going to do next month? What am I going to do three months from now? And stuff like that. You're too far in the future. That brings anxiety and panic attacks. You need to kind of like center yourself, be in the present. Okay, what's important to me right now? What's happening right now, today? Okay, so... Um, that was for someone. I don't know. <laughs> All right, the throat chakra. Again, throat chakra, communication, willpower, honesty, self-expression. I speak my truth with clarity. Okay, so that's an affirmation you can use. I speak my truth with clarity. Somebody's afraid that you're speaking your truth. Okay, or something like that. Over here, you have the solar plexus being imbalanced. There's still some sort of anger, okay? Your stomach could be upset. That talks about powerlessness. That's your creative sector, so your creativity could be a little blocked right now, but it's just stupid-ass people with the, with the uh, spiritual attacks on you. That's all it is. It's all good. It doesn't matter because karma's hitting their pockets, so they're wasting a lot of money. They could be going to high, ter like high priestesses and stuff like that to get work done on you. It don't matter. Third eye. Yeah, so that you don't see clearly. Okay? So, imbalance. Lack of vision. Headaches and nightmares. Third eye is connected with psychic abilities, too. Somebody's trying to fuck with your psyche. Okay? Moving on is one of the most difficult things that to do. But it's necessary. Like, we have to move on. Nothing in this world is for sure. The only thing that's certain is someone's death. Everything else is fair game. So, take that. Um, that's for some of you, too. So, anyway... That's what I got for you, Aqua. Please like, uh, share, and subscribe. Um, if you guys need me, I'm here for you. Peace out.